and welcome to my CD collection and today I am doing the letter B. Starting right over here. So over here we have Björk and in those days this is the front you know this this is her first album debut as Björk herself um, this is the ticket that I got when I went to her can I see when was this 1995 I went to see her and in those days I put my tickets in here nowadays everything is on email so you don't have that anymore I'm, I miss that but anyways Björk the first album great album very experimental very new in those days to make that kind of music and I I love her voice and I love her music so you're going to see a lot of Björk today Bob James and Kirk Whalem joined at the hip this is something that I recently received somehow I don't even know where I got it and I have not even listened to it so it is in the collection but I still have to check out what it is over here we have more Bob James oh I remember a friend of mine is was is a DJ he had so many so many CDs and a few months ago he said well I am going to do everything away will you be interested in going through all the boxes and pick out the things that you like and this is some of that that I picked up um, I don't know why I thought the front was interesting uh, Grand Piano Canyon sounded interesting but I haven't listened to it yet Berkshot Le Funk maybe you remember this one this is very nice, interesting music, a little bit funky, I like this. Over here we have some more Björk, I'm not going to tell you everything about every CD, just maybe my story with the CD, how I got it and if I like it or not. Here's Bob James, this is a nice friendly CD. I say friendly often, mostly because my English is not um, well enough to always find the right terms. But this is easy going, it has a nice bass and it's easy flowing. It's a bit jazzy, this music. Here we have one of my big heroes, Bobby McFerrin. And this was, was this his first CD? Maybe it is. This is the one with Don't Worry, Be Happy on it. Um, probably everybody knows this. I love Bobby McFerrin. Here we have more Björk. This is from an edition that came in a box that I somehow misplaced. And I don't even remember if I ever had the box that went with it. It also came with a uh, VHS videotape. That one I have. Um, this is number two and you probably will see the other two also in this B category. Another Bobby McFerrin. You know Bobby McFerrin plays his body as an instrument. That's what makes him interesting. And this is a very nice example if you want to experience how that sounds. More Bobby McFerrin. I like him so throughout the years you make sure to get everything that he does. I don't like him all but I like his uh, I like his style. Black Eyed Peas. Um, let's get retarded. Uh, hey Mama. Those are some of the songs that I like on here. Don't play this too often. This is not my kind of music, but those are songs that I think are really, really good. Brand new heavies. If you want to play some more energy in the house, um, then I put this one on and I play it loud. Also, you're going to see a lot of Billie Holiday in here. I love her voice, wonderful music and this is the first 
uh, album that I ran into. Um, you know, I'm a, a, a teacher and at one of the classes, um, which was a three or four day course, something like that. And I always, of course, invite people, if you have a CD, I have a player, a system here, um, if you have something with you, play it. And somebody put this into the player for during the breaks and stuff like that. And I absolutely loved it. So I picked it up and after that I picked up a lot of Billy Holiday. Come on. This is interesting. Bix Beiderbecker, one of the early cornet players. This is music from the 20s, but this is also the recordings from the 20s. And I just love that period and the music that comes with it. And sometimes the recordings are, well, actually pretty good. They always have that old sound to them, but I like that. Bix Beiderbecker. Wonderful player. Some more Billy Holiday that I picked up. This is just not an, an, an official uh, uh, album. Betty Wright, nice soulful music. Um, music from the 70s, but this is from 2007, I believe. Um, nice voice, I like that. Well, Here's one, of course, that you need to have in the collection. I grew up with Bob Marley and I had, I still have this vinyl, um, the vinyl album, which has a cover and two, actually, windows. And you could pick out the, uh, the, the sleeves where the albums were in. And on the different sleeves, sleeves you could have different images on the front windows. Bob Marley, wonderful music. The Blind Boys from Alabama started in 1939, but this is a CD they made when they were a bit older. I believe this is from 2000. And these are voices that have seen it all, that have sung it all. They are, um, these are artists. They are great voices. You hear the old age in their voices, but I like that, especially if some of these artists just know how to use their voice. So, the Blind Boys of Alabama. Baobab Nuolov, I don't know how to say that. This, I don't remember where I picked this up or how I got this, but this is Senegal uh, music, and somehow a lot of this African music is always recorded. Uh, recording quality is terrible, but the music is energetic. Bloom de Ligny. This is something I like to put on every now and then. Um, pretty good recording, a bit experimental. I would not even know what to really um, call this, but uh, zinc. Um, Bloom de Ligne. Try it out someday. Big Bill Brunzi. I was in a movie and always when I'm watching a movie, I'm always, always also very aware of the, the music. And in at the end, when all the credits were running, they had some music from this guy running there. So I always stay and watch, okay, who is doing this song, who is it? And then I pick up a CD. This is also an old recording. I believe this is 1930, something like that. This is blues by a genuine blues artist. More Billie Holiday. You gotta have some Bill Evans, of course. Somebody gave this to me because I am from 1965 and that was why they gave it to me. This is Jazz, Boss Skaggs, not very interesting music but a nice recording. Boss Gags, what is this called? Dick. Does it focus? Yeah, Dick. Some more Black Eyed Peas. Nice funky music. Ben Webster. Another jazz man. 
This is called The Warm Moods, which is very fitting for his music because his sound is also very warm. And I even believe he lived in the Netherlands for some time. This one is in here and I have no idea why. I don't like Bruce Springsteen, but I'm also not one to throw away CDs. More Bob Marley, Exodus. You know, maybe one time a year uh, uh, I pick out uh, Bob Marley, but then I play it loud and it really gives me a lot of joy. More brand new heavies, Trunk Funk, the best of. This is music with a lot of energy that makes you happy, or at least it makes me happy. This is a CD that I picked up at a, you know, like a car boot sale. Um, I picked it up blind, it was maybe 10 cents, it looked interesting. I read on the, um, on the rear, electric and acoustic guitars, loops, music boxes, steel guitar, mandolin, violin and bass, sounded like an interesting uh, combination. And this plays a little bit like a soundtrack for a movie. And some of the tracks are just one minute and two seconds. But this is actually very interesting, quite nice. If you, if you are into this little bit experimental, it has a nice vibe to it. I, won't even know, I don't even know how to, what kind of music it is, but I like it. Here we have some more Billy Holiday. Some more Ben Webster for the governor. I like this album very much. Some more Bill Evans. This is jazz. Just it can become a little bit more difficult every now and then. But he was of course one of the big, big jazz players. Some more Björk. Love the colors on this CD. And I like the music. And this is interesting. This is called Gling Glue. Gling Glow, I don't know. But this is done by Björk Gudmunds Dottir. This is actually Björk. But this is an album that she did not bring out as Björk. I believe it's just before that. This is a jazz album. It has some uh, uh, original uh, songs, I believe, from. Iceland, but this is also sung in Icelandic and You know, I love the tone of her voice. So even if I don't understand it, this is something uh, that I like Glinglo, Björk, give it a listen. This is interesting Some more Björk from the yoga series that I showed you So those are all the plastic cases and I have some that are in these more cardboard like cases so let's finish with that over here we have an interesting one this is um, blue flamingo if you can see over there this is interesting this is a local DJ here in Rotterdam in the Netherlands and he DJs with actual 78 uh, records and he has a very good feeling for picking out the musical stuff and he has a very big collection and he made a CD and this is all mixed um, with actual 78 records very interesting I like it very much Betty Davis we just saw the uh, documentary on uh, Betty Davis which was interesting Davis because this one she was the uh, she was married to Miles Davis if you want something to play loud and completely freak out this is it this is absolutely amazing Billy and Nora, Billy Joe and Nora, something they did together at Hate Foreverly. Um, I've listened to it a few times. I like Nora's voice. I don't care too much about this uh, CD. Um, some more Billy Holiday, of course. And the same 
CD as I showed you just from uh, Björk but in a much much more beautiful uh, package Whoa, we got almost. okay saved it Björk and with Björk we come to the end of the letter B see you tomorrow <laughs>